So Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez calls out Trump after news that Amazon plans to hire 1,500 employees in New York City. What in the fuck is this dumb fucking twat's fatwa against Amazon? Hey, AOC, Amazon sells crayons and coloring books too, you dumb, silly little girl. Oh, my God. Cortez tweeted Friday that Trump should focus more on getting rid of tax incentives for billionaires after news emerged that Amazon plans to open an office in New York City. In February, I was going to bring this up, Amazon canceled its plans to add 25,000 jobs in New York after politicians, I was well, local politicians, but she isn't a local politician, including AOC, criticized the deal, which would have given Amazon Amazon, 1.5 in tax incentives. Well, they weren't incentives, they were breaks. But they were probably going to add like 30 to $40 billion into the tax coffers of New York. Here's the thing. 25,000 jobs is not just 25,000 Amazon jobs and then everyone goes home. No, you have jobs created from the apartments that are going to need to be built. You have jobs that are created from all the shops that are going to need to be created. And let's just, I'm just going to go with the broadest fucking shops on the planet. You're going to need clothing shops, a shit ton of them. You're going to need food shops. And I'm talking about every grocery store under the planet from a discount secondhand food store to fucking Whole Foods and everything in between. You're going to need, I mean, how much money in tax revenue would be generated every day when 25,000 employees go out to lunch? Just saying. You're also going to need date night places because these people are going to be looking for partners. You're going to need, again, shit to do in free time and just, it would have been 30 to 40 to $50 billion dollars. I would have actually subscribed to it being closer to 70 or 80 billion. But she had to blast that because AOC thinks coupons are fucking money. I swear to God, she's the dumb bitch at the gro- at the pizza place, right? Everybody uses pizza coupons. You call up your pizza place, whatever the fuck it is, and you say, uh, hey, I got this uh, coupon, two large one toppers for 20 bucks. And they're regularly, let's say, $25.99. Bear with me. AOC thinks, well, I refuse the coupon. I made us $5.99. No, you didn't. You made us nothing. Trump blamed AOC for Amazon's decision to cancel the proposed move. Well, he's not wrong. She was the biggest voice. What What is her fatwa against these people? In her tweet, AOC suggested that her criticism of the deal was warranted given Amazon's decision to... Uh, open an office. After the Wall Street Journal reported Friday, Amazon plans to open a new office. AOC treated the Trump should focus more on uh, should that the Trump administration should focus more on cutting public assistance to billionaires instead of poor families. He's not cutting it to poor and feeble families. He's cutting it to people that have the ability to work. The cuts only affect Able-bodied people ages 18 to, I think, 50. Yeah, you can get a fucking job. And also, the mega corporations or billionaires are not getting public assistance. They're getting a coupon provided they spend the $20 billion in taxes. They just won't have to spend the $22 billion in taxes because they know that they're going to make up more than that money in all the ancillary shit. You know, it's like a pizza place that, again, gives a coupon for the two free pizza. Or let's say you got to buy two pizzas at regular price, $24.99, okay? But in the deal, they throw in a two-liter bottle of pop and a thing of cheesy bread. So they gave up the profit on a shit that would have made that was like a dollar oh five to make twenty five dollars. Again, it, it just proves that AOC's never run a business, never bothered to look at her boss's bank balance sheet, ne- probably thought the motherfucker was just taking money out of the till. 
which by the way, even if you own the fucking business, is I think somewhat illegal. So anyway, uh, she was a vocal opponent of the Amazon plan to set up shop in New York City, and basically Bloomberg was pissed about this, uh, the current mayor of New York was pissed about this, and Cuomo was pissed about this. New York has a deficit. This would have fixed the deficit and then some. Uh, Amazon announced in February it would not continue its proposed expansion. Many New Yorkers blame those same politicians for causing the company to withdraw, costing the city tens of thousands of jobs. Probably closer to probably 100,000 jobs when you, again, tack into all the ancillary shit that would have, been, that would have grown up Outside around the Amazon HQ. Again, food shops, clothing shops, various home, like shit like Target for, for the home that they're going to have to have. You know, not to mention office supply stores. And not to mention all the businesses that would have, that, that are like, let's say, uh, you know, it's just Jesus. You cost bill- tens of billions of dollars. President Crum uh, called out AOC saying that she kept Amazon on in New York. Friday's news, Amazon had secured a lease in Hudson Yards. AOC took to Twitter to double down on her previous criticism and blah, 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 blah. Well, unfortunately, they're giving us tens of billions of dollars in tax revenue. Poor families are giving us nothing except a net loss. And I don't see what's the big deal if you have to work at least 20 hours a week, if you're able-bodied and you want public assistance, tough fucking titty. Right now, you have to work, right now I believe the requirement is 20 hours, one week, every three months. Amazon said it did not receive any special tax benefits for the new office, but the new office is significantly smaller. And it may even have been a project that had been in the works by Amazon all along. Honestly, Trump has every right to criticize this dumb bitch. Can somebody please, for the love of God, primary her ass or beat her in a general vote? I don't care how. This bitch needs to go back to the taco bar from when she came. But at least she does prove one thing. AOC proves that women belong in the kitchen and not in the goddamn halls of power. The future is not female because if it is, it doesn't fucking work.